Packers on the run. Alex Jones and the GCN Radio Network. Hi folks, Alex Jones here with some important information. I want to tell you about Matt Redhawk and his team of patriots over at My Patriot Supply. Several years ago, Matt was sitting in his two-bedroom apartment, frustrated with the direction this country was headed, and the charlatans willing to sell us out for a quick buck. Deciding to take action, a company run by Patriots for Patriots was born. My Patriot Supply has never taken a loan or accepted outside funding. They now operate two distribution facilities and employ over 50 hardworking American men and women. It is rare to find companies who practice what they preach. And that's why I stock my pantry with high-quality storable foods from My Patriot Supply. Go to MyPatriotSupply.com forward slash Alex today for special offers on emergency food storage or call their preparedness specialist at 866-229-0927. That's 866-229-0927. Do business with someone who shares your values. MyPatriotSupply.com slash Alex. This is Alex Jones for InfoWarsLife.com. The latest in preparedness is now here. An electrically stabilized colloidal silver solution that can be added to both your home cabinet and preparedness pack alike. Concentrated to 30 parts per million in what has been dubbed the Survival Silver Solution. The new InfoWars Life Silver Bullet Colloidal Silver is the answer for you and your family. And it's entirely free of toxic artificial additives that are loaded into many products. The InfoWars Life Silver Bullet Silver is so powerful that it is concentrated into a two ounce bottle and is not recommended for extended continual use. This is not a low grade formula. We are working with one of the top laboratory manufacturers in the United States to bring you the best form of colloidal silver using electrical processes within a base of deionized water for your preparedness storage or your home kitchen. Purchase your bottle of InfoWarsLife.com Silver Bullet Colloidal Silver today and find other amazing supplements at InfoWarsLife.com. The globalist social engineers are not just targeting us with propaganda. They are manipulating our genetics. We are being targeted at every level by estrogen mimickers that lower our testosterone and other hormones and natural compounds that the body needs. After consulting top doctors, nutritionists, pharmacists, and others, we have developed what I believe is the ultimate non-GMO organic super male vitality formula sourced from powerful organic herbs and then concentrated for maximum potency. Super Male Vitality was developed to activate your body's own natural processes instead of using synthetic chemicals. Super Male Vitality by InfoWars Life is so powerful that I only take half the recommended dose. For a limited time, we are offering 15% off Super Male Vitality at InfoWarsLife.com to introduce you to this powerful supplement. Visit InfoWarsLife.com today to secure your Super Male Vitality. InfoWarsLife.com Back to the Alex Jones Show. I'm David Knight, and we just were talking to Dr. Jerome Corsi from WND. He was fleshing out this Chinese takeover, this debt that is being converted to land and resources, how the Obama administration is taking down barriers that had been up against strategic infrastructure, allowing that to be sold to the Chinese. Just as we see foreign countries owning toll roads throughout America, we're now seeing Harry Reid and others trying to turn over our energy grid to foreign countries. And one of the ways that they're trying to do this is with these giant solar power projects out in Nevada. And of course, as Kit Daniels and InfoWars broke last week, it was the number one story. They pointed out that this was about the Bundy Ranch specifically mentioned in these documents. Of course, others have pushed back against that and said, well, no, that wasn't in the same area. The Bundy Ranch was to be used as a mitigation area for all these solar projects that were set up. The two that were set up for first solar, 
that is also, that although it's not the Chinese, Harry Reid was still very much involved in that, but also for the ENN project. And as Dr. Jerome Corsi pointed out, ENN has had very close ties to Dr. Jerome Corsi. It's a company, an energy company, the largest uh, Chinese energy company owned by the Chinese government. Now, we're going to take your calls on this. We want to have you call in with questions or comments about what you've seen, about the larger issues involved here, about the victory that we saw there. And of course, the war is not over. It was a battle, but it was a victory. I think we need to take that. We need to not be afraid of the fact that, well, maybe this was a feint by the feds or whatever. Look, they were not expecting this. Josh and I were just talking about that earlier. It completely took them by surprise. They were reacting, first of all, to the story that came out last week. And that's not just us saying that. That's the Americans Against the Tea Party, quoted by Washington Times earlier today, said, it was a likely pressure from upstairs rather than weapons from the field that changed his mind on the matter. Fact is, Harry Reid probably didn't want his name attached to the biggest civilian massacre in U.S. history right before the election season. So we're going to take your calls on that. That's 800-259-9231. That pushed them back. That exposed the corruption, the graft, the connections between his son, who was a lobbyist for the solar industry, as well as his former senior policy advisor who is now head of the BLM, that's Neil Corns. He's the one who backed it down. He's the one who gave the order to step this down. And that happened very suddenly, as I was talking about before. On Friday afternoon, as we were headed down to Nevada to confront the sheriff's department down there, we saw and did a report about the fact that they had taken down signs about the cattle area at that moment. So they were still moving ahead on Friday afternoon with their plans. This story came out. We went down there. We told the sheriff about it. We called up a press release that the BLM was having, essentially asked a rhetorical question about the corruption, about the connections with Harry Reid to this. Of course, we didn't expect them to comment on it, and they didn't comment on it. We just wanted them to, to know that we knew. And it subsequently went to the number one story on Friday. By the next morning, the sheriff who would not say anything, did not even have a prepared propaganda statement. The sheriff wanted to meet with Mr. Bundy. Mr. Bundy said, not in private, we'll do it in public. He read the BLM press release saying that they were going to allow grazing to happen. And Bundy came back and said, I want you to stand down this martial law, essentially talking about the weapons, talking about the checkpoints, talking about the brutality that had been existed there and gave them one hour to do that. When they didn't do that, Bundy said, let's go get the cattle. He's saying, I'm not telling you what to do. It's just the governor and the sheriff that I give orders to because they have a duty to protect the property of the citizens, to protect them from being brutalized. I asked a state rep when she came there. She was talking about, well, you know, this really isn't a very cost-effective way to do this, is it? Because uh, they're spending millions of dollars on this operation, and uh, they're not really getting much for their money. It's very, very inefficient to do this. You know, it's not about efficiency. It's about liberty. I asked her, I said, would it be okay, you know, if it's okay for these guys to uh, create martial law here, would it be okay for the BLM to come into this area and start raping people? At what point does the local law enforcement, the sheriff, need to stand up and do his duty? Well, as we were as asking these questions again, they came up with their, they reacted to this on uh, Saturday morning, and the crowd went to the area and took back the cattle Empty-handed, the crowd walked up to the barriers and looked these guys who were hiding behind their vehicles with weapons pointed at us, talking into the PA system, telling us to stand down. They were going to use lethal force. They would shoot. They had a court order, vacate the area, or they would shoot. They were stood down by the crowd on foot, the crowd on horseback, peacefully approaching the barriers, just like V for Vendetta, except with cowboys. It was a great scene. I tell you what, I, I wouldn't have missed it for the world. It's going to be one of the highlights of my life. So I want to take your calls and uh, see what you think about this. See if you have any comments, see if anybody was there. But before we do, I want to point out that this half hour of the Alex Jones Show is brought to you by My Patriot Supply. Now, as we see Agenda 21 being enacted everywhere, we need to understand that patriots need to get prepared. They're running us off the land. They're taking the property. They're taking the water rights. You can do that. By going to My Patriot Supply, they offer high-quality survival gear. It's the home of the Patriot Pantry line of emergency food storage. The food is delicious, easy to prepare, 
It's put together with GMO-free crops. It's storable for up to 25 years. And they've developed space-saving and secure food storage bins. Unlike the flimsy plastic pails that you find almost everywhere else, visit MyPatriotSupply.com slash Alex today for special offers. That's MyPatriotSupply.com forward slash Alex. The globalists are counting on you to be unprepared. Fight back. Get prepared at MyPatriotSupply.com forward slash Alex today. Now let's take some of our calls. We've got uh, Sean on the line. Sean, go ahead. Oh, he did. Okay. Who else have we got here? Uh, we've got uh, Sue in Idaho. Sue, go ahead. Hello. Hi. How are you doing? Hi. I'm doing very well. Um, I'm in contact with a gentleman who lives down the road from the Bundy Ranch. Um, he contacted me on my website this morning, Mountain View Off-Grid Living. He said that there's something going on down there today. Um, he tried to drive down the road to see what was going on, that they've got all the roads blocked. He saw that they brought in a mobile command center. They've got prison buses and a lot of police cars. Uh, nobody knows what's going on. He said a lot of the locals are getting spooked, and several of them are packing up and uh, leaving the area. What did he say about the uh, supporters? What are the crowds like? Have, have most of the people left the area now? He cannot get down the road to find out what anything that's going on because they've got the roads blocked. Um, thought maybe you guys could check into this. You have a little more contacts than I do and uh, see what's going on. Okay. Yeah, I that's. I did send you. I did send you an email a while ago with a video of the command center and the prison buses coming in. Well, I can tell you what. If they move in there with force, it is going to backfire on them seriously. Whether or not the people shoot back, whether or not they defend themselves, this is going to be a major public relations fiasco for the government if they come in under martial law and do this. They have dealt deceitfully with everybody. They have trespassed on the the rights of this family for a very long time this is if they step this up again this quickly it, it, it's going to be a disaster for the government i hope this doesn't happen i hope they don't get violent thank you uh roger in nevada go ahead do you have any information on uh, what's going on today uh yes i just want to say thank you uh, mr knight for coming out here to uh southern nevada to help out with the victory also i encourage all the listeners okay we need to go step uh further tomorrow I uh, to encourage everybody to call up their elected officials, like what I did today, and appeal the 16th Amendment. Let's go to a national sales tax. Let's get rid of the IRS. And also, let's get rid of Obamacare also. So yes. we get at least our country halfway back on track. But we have a lot of homework to do. Keep up the good work. I'm telling you, I'm proud of you, uh, Mr. Michael Knight, and also uh, for your boss, Alex Jones. If it wasn't for your program, I don't know how we could get this country back. Well, thank you for your support. Yes, we all need to, uh, we need to move, you know what, 20 years ago, we were laughed at when we said we need to repeal the income tax, we need to get rid of the IRS. Now we've got Ted Cruz saying that. We are winning the information war. People are understanding the corruption of the system. They're understanding that the government is infringing and encroaching on our rights gradually in areas that they do not have any lawful authority. And they're starting to understand that they need to judge for themselves, think for themselves, what does the Constitution say when it clearly says they do not have these rights unless they're explicitly granted to them? It really means it. And when they try to do this, they may have a lot of force, they may have a lot of power, they don't have authority. We need to understand that the government has massive force. But if we understand that they don't have any authority, that these things are immoral, illegal, then perhaps some good people will stand up as we saw happen in Nevada. That's what it takes. It takes people who never thought that their government was capable of doing this, just like the Bundy family, just like Ammon uh, Bundy said. He grew up in those hills all of his life. He could not believe that it was turned into a, that he had people, snipers, on the hills pointing guns at him. He couldn't believe that that would happen. You need to wake up and understand this is where it's going to go for everyone. If we don't stand up collectively for individual rights, if we don't stand up collectively for the rule of law, when they take your rights, whether it's grazing rights, water rights, your rights to privacy, your right to keep and bear arms, they're going to take your First Amendment rights or free speech rights. And they did that. They showed what they're about. They showed that they're about a dictatorship. They showed that this was martial law, even though they didn't declare it. 
Very disturbing heard a report from uh, Sue in Idaho that she knew somebody who was uh, there. If there's anybody else in Nevada that knows any more about this situation, please call in again. The number